Do you like cornbread in a Dutch oven? Me too. I thought today we would try outdoor cooking, some kind of campfirey outdoor cornbread baked in a Dutch oven project experiment thing. It's going to work, right? Maybe. <laughs> Let's try this, see what happens. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. So for simplicity's sake, I'm doing this on my Weber grill so I don't have to be on the ground, but you should do it on a, a hard surface, a non-flammable surface. So I put some uh, terracotta stone stuffs down. What's that tile called? Tile. And we're gonna, the first thing I do is start, we're gonna use charcoal briquettes because that way you can, you can fine tune the temperature that you're baking the cornbread at. And I learned this from my cousin, Sharon. She was on my podcast. You fill it up? Actually, it depends on the size of your Dutch oven as to how many briquettes you need. And there'll be a chart I'll link to below. A chart? Do briquettes come in different sizes? No, but um, these are great. The briquettes are not evil. People are big into chunk charcoal. I think these work just fine. If you want to argue, comment below. <laughs> I'm going to argue. Yeah, somebody's going to. <laughs> Loosely crinkled paper, chimney starter. You still get the newspaper? So before the piece of paper burns out, I put some more paper underneath here. That's how I get it warm and hot. It's okay. Um, it's just my eyes are... You need some smoke. glasses? I should just be on the other side where the smoke is not. Yes, you should. Rotate. Can you do this on a windy day? No. Well, you can. <laughs> it depends on if you're camping. I just like to be outside and I'm like, instead of using the oven. And it's to me, this is the challenge. Can we do this? My cousin Sharon does this all the time. I'll link to the podcast she was on, the Garden Fork Radio podcast. That was a lot of fun to talk to her. You mean, can you do this without burning your hand? Yes, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> People like fire. That's why they're watching. Fire, garden fork, corn, and cornbread in a Dutch oven. So I gotta go to the store and get some aluminum foil. You'll learn why in a little bit. This'll cook up. Labradors will be Labradors. I'll be right back. All right, that's maybe a little too long. <laughs> So we need a way to get the Dutch oven off the ground or wherever you're cooking so the coals can go underneath. You can buy little things, trivets, or you can take and make these aluminum feet. So our cornbread cooks at 375 degrees. There's a whole chart that I will link to, but we want seven coals on the bottom here. And I'm gonna err on the side of, maybe my coals are a little weak and puts a few more when all else fails, don't always follow direction. Right, we want, um, <laughs> most of your heat I learned from my cousin Sharon on the podcast, you want the heat coming from the top, which explains why I burned my no need bread. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> oh, the bottom. Oh yeah, it's burnt. Uh, videos to that will be at the end. Steady or wobbly? That's wobbly. <laughs> four, four tablespoons of oil, or um, you could put melted butter. One, two, three. Uh, bacon fat works too, it just depends on what your preference is. And then I have all my dry ingredients here. Whole wheat flour, cornmeal, baking powder. I'll link, there'll be a recipe below here. I've got two eggs and a cup of milk. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> we have a live audience. Yeah, we have an interested viewer here. Okay, our wet ingredients go into our dry ingredients. Special ingredient, frozen corn. You can use a can of creamed corn too, but that affects your liquid levels. 
Like a cup and a half, two cups. A half a bag? You could just eat frozen corn. Oh, he actually does this. Oh, good. Doesn't that hurt your teeth? No, but it's cold. I'm gonna fold this in. So I'm just gonna turn this so that um, this goes up in the sides a little bit. And then. This is the camera operator's favorite cornbread. And then we wait? Uh, no, now we have to put the coals on the top, but I don't have a camping Dutch oven. I've got like an oven one. So how do you keep the coals from falling off? I measure the diameter here. And then I take this and I roll it. And we, and you pinch it here. Mm-hmm, pinching. Pinching, shaping. And now you have a ring. You have a corral for your pole. And now we put 16 coals on the top. These are kind of past their prime, so I'm gonna add more. All right, so that is uh, 17. I'm gonna just put a couple more because I I think we kind of let the coals in the chimney in the chimney thing a little too long. All right, about 35 minutes. How do you know that? I'm guessing. Garden Fork's all about guessing. Do we don't we don't need to put like anything on top of the charcoal to keep it hot hotter? Mm -mm. Freeform. All right. Henry, we've got 35 minutes. And we have cornbread. You, do you like cornbread? Everybody does. The big, oh, that didn't work. Um, the big factor in how many coals is the diameter. Will I melt my tape measure, you think? Um, the diameter of your Dutch oven. And I didn't realize it, but most of the coals go on the top. My cousin Sharon taught me that. Thank you, Sharon. So we're gonna let this puppy um, bake. We're baking outside, which is, I love this thing. I just, I love this idea. Putting my head here, it is quite warm. I'm a little worried about um, the coals. I think I kind of, I just, they burnt up in the chimney, this chimney starter thing. But um, I mean, garden folks all about, hey, let's try this and see what happens. And uh, so in about 25 minutes, we're gonna see what happens. I'm, I really like cornbread, so this will be good anyway. It's time. Oh, oh, oh. Help, help. It, the yard smells like cornbread. I was, <laughs> I was mulching leaves. Garden Fork's not just a cooking channel, by the way. It's a, it's a DIY maker. How, it's just me, me on the weekend with the camera operator. And you're wondering if I'm gonna burn my fingers taking this lid off, aren't I'm, you? I'm not wondering. I also have a podcast, links below for all my world. Has the moment arrived? Oh my gosh. Wow. That looks fantastic. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you get that big divot in there when you put the corn and all that, the oil and all that in there. But um, see, it's kind of separated from the edges there. Yeah, yeah. That is a sure sign that it's done. If I had a cake tester, we could test it, but... Um, you have a knife. Oh, yeah. I just got this out of the tent. <laughs> all right. I'm betting that's done. I love this. This is... <gasps> this is kind of like the happy accident. That's my life, basically. The coals that I kind of dumped along the... are still hot. I can still feel the coals here, but... Um, so you can still burn your fingers. Yeah, but this is cooler. The yard smells like cornbread. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna taste that right now. I thought it's a little cool outside, it's so it's steaming. It's too hot? No, it's fantastic. Oh fantastic. Recipe will be below. Why don't you and I spend some more time together? There should be some more of my videos floating right here. You and I? 